When you were a stripper, did you feel like that had a big effect on your dating a life? Stripper? Kind of. I, I started off as like a bottle girl and I was in the relationship already like two years, I wanna say, before I started she bottle girl like, at a strip club and then that led me into dancing. And I've had my struggles like, oh what are you hey, doing? On, How are you getting hold this on, money? Hold on, hold on, listen, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen. I ain't trying to body shame nobody, but she a little, she a little too skinny to be a stripper. She about the size of the damn Polo Santo. I be, I be freaking lighting. What? You body shaming. You body shaming, cuz. Go ahead and shut the hell up. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Any kind of vibes, but when you come home with five racks, no one's really gonna... <laughs> Five racks. Thank you. Uh, when you come home with five racks like that, I feel like a man's not gonna question that if they're not making more. But how did being a stripper and dancing on random men make you view men? It changed a lot. I've definitely had a lot of bachelor parties, men who literally just got married and dealt with whatever they were dealing with. But at the same time, my man never went to a strip club until he met me. If you could go back and get the same amount of money from a different profession, would you do it? I would. I, I don't recommend it to really anybody, but I do understand the want to do it. So I'm not against it. it it's very possible to be a dancer and have a boyfriend at the same time. I'll say this. If you a stripper, I ain't dating you. I don't trust strippers. I don't I don't trust I don't trust women who make their living finessing men out of money. If your career is to feed me a dream, there's no way I can be in a relationship with you. Because now I don't know when you being real with me and when you feed me a dream. Selling me a dream, I'm sorry. I don't know when you selling me a dream or when you're being real with me. So why would I want to be in a relationship with somebody like that? I gotta understand, bro, besides like Dancing, strippers are psychologists. Like, these women know how to read men. They know how to give you just enough to get what they want out of you. Believe it or not. So, a lot of y'all be going to the strip clubs and y'all be, yeah, man, like, psh, had spent some money on this hoe. And then, like, no, you're the hoe. You, you trick ass, you. You, the joke's on you. It's a it's a chick. I did a reaction video. Um, I did a reaction video, right? A lot of y'all be talking about how the chick, would, she look like a man or whatever. Um, But she's actually a famous stripper. And she gives, like, lessons on how to strip. And you know, them dances that they be giving y'all? It's a... It's a technique to the dance to where she's selling you a dream. She not even touching you with her, with her thing. She not even touching you with her thing. Come on now. I ain't going for that. Shout out to her though for saying that she would do something different. But at the same time, like, yeah, I would never. I would never date a stripper. No offense to if, if you subscribe to me and you're an exotic dancer but you gotta understand where I'm coming from when I go to a strip club I go for the food open your door I must I'm gonna say something this is how I know that I'm overdue for some um <laughs> for some grown folks business because her pressing the doorbell like that that sounded like that mac and cheese that sounded like that mac and cheese y'all I ain't even gonna lie <laughs> I ain't gonna oh yeah where my phone at boy I need to I need to call my wife because. Well. What do you want? Um, I want to talk to the grown-up who lives here. Why? What happened? Answer the door. What happened? Answer the door. But who? Who are you?
you? No, I don't even know who I'm you your are. neighbor. Got the f Is something yes. wrong? Oh, can you tell me what it Open is? Open the door. Angry. I really don't want to open the door um, and let you calm down. Well, can you just tell me if something went wrong or yes. something happened? I'm not aware. There is something wrong. It made you angry. Who are you? Well, can you tell me what? You're the mother of this house? I'm the mother of this house. Great. Well, we've never met, so let's meet. Hey, y'all folks be brave, man. It said that right there, but ima imagine you coming to my door, ringing my bell with all this frustration, demanding that I open my door to you. Are you the mother of this house? <laughs> what yo? What what? What be wrong with some people, man? What be wrong with y'all? I wish a motherfucker. Mm. Man, this shoot the dice, man. I, this just is, shoot, man. This is, I don't want to hear none of that. I'm, I'm man, telling all you, that. I just you took shoot 16, the dice. I'm telling you this. I just took sixteen hundred from you. I give you back four hundred, and just we'll just call it a wrap. No, I'm, no, I don't want to no, take no. your less. You only got two hundred left. This I got. You I just got. Gotta, I gotta go in. What am I stopping off for? What do you mean you just got paid? That's your whole paycheck, and you just want to shoot now for? You just cash your check. That's why you want to stop. You got two money. I'm gonna leave you with some. Maybe I'm you got some white cheese. This is my, this is you got. All, right. all my money. All right. Pride is a mother. Right. I'm trying to warn you. Man, I try to warn you, hot man. man. Come on, uh huh. Nah, nah, Nina. Nah. Nina. On the yeah. road. Come on. Yeah. Come on. I'm trying to tell you. Ha ha. Damn. I told you. I told you. I told you. Why'd you want to shoot with me? Man, come on, what? Man, what? It ain't trick? No, there's no you trick. Right. Loaded. No, how are they loaded? How are they loaded? Shoot. How are they loaded? You Look at that. We've been shooting with the whole... We just shoot with the same dice. Now quit. I'm telling you, just quit. I shoot told you. Shoot one more. Shoot one more. What do you mean shoot one more? That's man. all you shoot got left. More. That's it. That, I'm done with this. That's all you got left, Give though. Me, I'm scrambling back. What do you mean you're scrambling back? Come on, you're not scrambling you're back, bro. No. I don't want to take your the last of your money. Would you shoot, man? Would you, you just shoot? Shoot the dice. I just, y'all, I just took him to go cash his check, and he wants to shoot me. Shoot the dice. You came man. up on me trying to shoot. I didn't want to shoot you. Shoot the dice. I'm about what to shoot, shoot the, the dice. dice for? Why are you talking and shoot the dice, man? <laughs> I don't want to take your last 200 you know, Yo, he got a gambling problem. 17. You know, took $1,700 from me. But I'm saying he got a gambling problem. Release. It's better than zero or what? What? I don't shoot you. It's I better came than here zero. To shoot. I came here to shoot dice. <laughs> man, you. All right, man. I, I ain't want to do it like that. Man, man. All right, let's go. All right, I'm about to pop. All right, give me that last honey. Got Told you. Well, you caught those? Yep. Come on, now you pulling them old school. Come on, man, catch them. Hey, don't do that. I caught them. It, man. I man, can no. catch them, whatever. You I can can't catch them, but don't be doing that. Do, don't whatever. be doing that janky stuff, though. You can catch them. I don't know. You can catch them. It's whatever. Whatever. So you catching these? Just let me know. Do I do? Boom. Left, got your ass. Damn. I told you. Damn. Damn. This is why you don't gamble, y'all. Hey. This is why you don't gamble. What? I told you. I gave you an opportunity to get the money back. That's it. Damn. No. Don't even look over here. That's all really my money, man. It is, but you you came over here thirsty with some dice ready to gamble. You got paid. You this is a lesson. Money, that's a this that's the part of gambling. You can't just go in there thinking you're gonna win. What you mean I can't go in there? I'm thinking I'm going to win. That's what but I'm But why you come over here and I told you I didn't even want to shoot you. It was thirsty. You got the dice. Come on. I just got the dice, man. Let's shoot. Let's shoot. You thought you was going to come up on the come up, and it's not. That's all, man. You I ain't going to lie. You got to go. I got I got something, man. My, my lady coming over, can man. You got to go. What you mean, man, lady coming over? Man, I'm saying you got to go. What do you mean? Well, what, what else you got? Man, I got something. I got Man, no. No. I ain't shooting no. No. Come I'm on, man. You got to shoot. Huh? I'm not shooting the fives. Man, you the dice, man. Yo, Unk mad as hell, but, hey, I don't gamble, especially um, playing CeeLo. I don't play CeeLo. My, my thing for not playing CeeLo is that 
I know, I know like three people that died because of CeeLo. Yeah, I know three people that died because, no, I know two people that died because of CeeLo. Um, one died, I don't want to call no names or nothing like that, but, um, basically it's this kid I went to school with, he was bad, bro. I ain't, he was a troublemaker or whatever from six to seven, like seventh grade. But then like in the middle of seventh grade, he just changed. He just changed. You feel what I'm saying? He started coming to school, started doing his work, started like getting B's and shit like that. Then eighth grade, eighth grade, the whole of eighth, eighth grade, getting A's, B's, you feel me? Like sitting down, doing his projects, doing his work. All the teachers were talking about how, like, yo, Kamar changed. Like, he's really, you know, he's shooting dice with a grown man. He won $40. Dude ain't pay him. So, like, they end up getting in, like, a little fight or whatever. And he beat the dude up. Now, mind you, bro, he, like, 14. He beat up a grown man, right? He coming home from, he walking home from in-house. This grown man sees him, like, shoots him. You feel me? The other situation, um... These kids, they, they playing dice or whatever, and somebody tried to rob the dice game. Uh, this kid I used to play basketball with, named, named Franklin. He's actually a boxer, too. He's He was a good-ass boxer. He stopped the dude from trying to rob... Well, he tried to stop the guy from robbing the dice game, and the guy shot him. And it, actually, it was another situation involved... Damn, yeah, I I know I know too many people that die from dice games, bro. So I don't gamble. When it comes to playing CeeLo, I don't I don't gamble. I'm just not a that's not me.